Hello everyone, today we'll be doing a screen replacement on a Dell Inspiron 13-7359. The 13 is for the size of the display and the 7359 is a specific model. But this screen replacement should be pretty much the same for any 7000 series Inspiron from Dell. So what we did here is remove the screen from the parts laptop. Uh, and this is the laptop that I am fixing. And I figured since everything that the other laptop needed was the screen and this laptop had the broken body, as you can see, the charge port there is all broken up and this corner here is taped up with duct tape because it has been damaged like that for years and my wife's been using it like that for years. I don't know why. <laughs> so I decided to fix it. Um, or she finally let me fix it. She didn't want to spend any money. But um, I also have another video in the future that you will see. I'll probably link it to this one, but not only how to save money, but actually make money by fixing your own computer. Um, so we are just gonna remove the good screen from this bad frame. And we're gonna put the good screen on the good frame. And then later I'm just gonna swap out the, I think I ended up just swapping out um, the hard drive and the motherboard because this one actually had a higher it had an i5 processor uh, soldered onto this motherboard and the parts computer had an i3 the processing capacity on this one is just slightly better so i went ahead and swapped those two things but as you can see removing the f the uh, screen on this is pretty easy i just went around with a spudger and unclipped the screen from the frame it's pretty straightforward I'm making sure and checking that there were no cables on the top for me to rip and they weren't any. So every cable is on the bottom and I am starting with the display cable here. I just undo the tape, undo a clip and pull back and it's free. And after that, there is going to be the Windows Home button, IO board right there. It's only held on by one screw and I think glued down a little bit, so it's pretty easy to remove. Just removed it, got it out of the way. There it is. And then there is a series of wires that go to the antenna for Wi-Fi and also the um, webcam. So I think, actually, I think it's mainly just the webcam and the microphone. Um, but that's also pretty easy to remove. You can see right here taking care of that and these wires are just kind of uh, glued down so you just kind of have to gently pull up on them and they will come out and um, it's pretty simple. You can't see it right there, but the uh, webcam is free now. It was just glued down a little bit. So now the good screen is free and ready to put into the good frame. And there it goes. And to put it back, it's just sort of reverse engineering. <laughs> so I just do the reverse steps from what I did to take it out. And I'm just putting the webcam and the wires back in place. I'm gonna do the same with the board and the home button and then finally the display cable. So there it is, I'm just rerouting all the cables back in. Sticking the webcam back down. and putting the display cable back in place, taping it down. And now all that's left to do is just clip the new screen onto the frame. I use a little spudger as, uh, for help to clip everything back in just to give me a good 
place to push on. And finally, I just test the computer to make sure the screen is working, and it is working. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, later, I tested everything else, like the webcam and the home button. But that's pretty much all you have to do to replace a screen. Again, it's pretty much the same for any 7000 series Dell and Speron. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to, give it a try, do your own research, and uh, have fun. Thank you.